Hey everyone, Katrina here, Birmingham First Middle School Coordinator, and I'm the one bringing your family devotion for this week. And it's the 4th of July this weekend, and so our theme all week has been free will, which is good. <laughs> that God gives us free will to follow him and to find our way, but sometimes it can be really difficult because there's lots of temptations around for us. It can be overwhelming. So we're going to talk today about Corinthians because Paul does a great job helping prepare those that are listening and following him for these very temptations. Paul would help them with their problems, help them think through these difficult issues. And when the church did have problems, Paul helped them by giving lots of practical advice for these practical problems people had. So um, we're going to be looking at chapter 10 today, verses 12 through 13. But right before that, Paul begins to talk, give a lot of warnings out to the people of Israel because guess what? Temptations are already happening and people are already not making the right choices. But you know what? Isn't that nice to know that, you know, we're not alone. I mean, temptations and struggling to make the right choices has been around for years and there's lots of examples um, that we can look upon to help prepare ourselves for these um, trials that may come before us. So pretty nice to know we're not alone. Um, so here we go. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 10 verses 12 through 13. And he says, so, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has taken over you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so you can endure it. So here's the thing. When we're tempted, when we are overwhelmed, because it's going to happen, that's the way life is. God is there for us. He has a way out for us. And we must prepare ourselves for those situations and look for that way out that God is providing for us. So what I thought you could do is maybe you could think on your own to help you prepare for those temptations. Or you could find a friend. Um, you know, that is close to you that you can trust to talk about these things with. And also as a family, you know, mom and dad have had temptations where they've had to work through them. So you could talk to them about those too. And so here are some questions that you can explore with your family or that friend, or maybe just that journal entry. What are some temptations that you find very difficult to resist? And what could be God's way for you to escape that temptation? So think about specific examples, maybe that have already happened to you or examples that could be in your future and prepare yourself. Know what you're going to do in those situations. So for example, maybe you're with a group of your friends and they are gossiping. They're talking about somebody that's that's not there. And so what would you do in that instance? Obviously, not gossiping and not talking about that friend, but how, how would you get yourself out of that situation? Would you just leave that group of friends? Would you tell them, we shouldn't be talking about that person that way? So that, that's just one example of probably the many temptations as a middle schooler and a high schooler that you find yourself in. I'm so glad you joined me today. Happy 4th of July.